Here's what hyenas can do. Don't be misled by cringing creatures seen in The Lion King. From their biology to their social structure, spotted hyenas are complex creatures like none other on Earth, explains author and conservationist Lucy Cook. Hyena versus Zebra This is the devastating moment a heavily pregnant zebra was killed by hyenas in Africa. It was a scene that photographer Mark Mole found incredibly difficult to watch. Other onlookers couldn't bear it and left, he said. The harrowing scene unfolded in Kenya's Masai Mara National Reserve in Narok County with the mare set up upon 20 hyenas. The zebra looked on in a stoic and defiant manner as the animals attacked. Wildlife photographer Mr. Mull revealed that the zebra's misery lasted for 20 minutes. Mr. Mull said, It was one of the most remarkable events I've ever seen. My wife and I observed this predation by a pack of hyenas on this poor and unfortunate zebra mare who was heavily pregnant and simply couldn't keep up with the herd. It was the first time my guide of 15 years and I had ever witnessed something like this. Subsequently, the unborn foal was savagely ripped out and carried off by one of the hyenas. It was absolutely heartbreaking to watch, simply too much for one person in another vehicle next to us, and they left after this happened. Throughout the attack, the mare didn't utter a sound as the savagery of the pack set in, no doubt in severe shock. It was not an easy event to photograph and document as I witnessed two lives being taken, but this is, after all, the struggle for survival in the circle of life. Mr. Mull also revealed that one hyena made off with the unborn foal and a black-backed jackal stole some of its kill. Hyena versus Buffalo In the African savanna, everyone knows that lions are at the top of the food chain, but the status of the second African hyena is not far behind. Hyenas are notorious for digging their anus to eat carrion. In many documentaries, we can often see a group of spotted hyenas rounding up buffaloes. What's puzzling is that the buffalo, as prey, stands still and allows the group of spotted hyenas to dig their anus. At least 20 spotted hyenas are required to bring down an 850-kilogram heavy, fierce buffalo. In the Ngorongoro crater, the number of buffaloes has increased during the last 40 years, and hyenas got more experienced at hunting buffalo. Hyena versus Impala A video of impalas becoming very viral, in which Impala manages to save his life by dodging not one, but two dreaded animals. After watching this video, you'll also say, it's done wonders. A hyena comes running from somewhere. After this, he moves towards the cheetah hunting the Impala, at the same time, seeing the hyena comes fast towards itself, the cheetah considers itself good and slipping away from there. You can see that the impala is still lying on the ground, but let us tell you that the impala is not dead, it's pretending to be dead. The hyena tries to eat the impala, but seeing the cheetah close by, it rushes towards it to run away. Then what was left? Impala, seeing the opportunity, ran from there and the hyena just kept watching him running away. It was this way the impala saved her life. Hyena versus Elephant This is the incredible moment an elephant came to the rescue of one of its babies being attacked by a pack of hyenas. The elephant is seen charging at the hyenas to ward them of its offspring. The photos were captured by American photographer Jaish Mehta, age 47, in the Savuda region of the Chobe National Park in Botswana. Mehta said, We heard cries of elephants in distress. On leaving the track and going towards the sounds in the bush, we found a group of 12 to 14 hyenas chasing a herd of around eight elephants. The elephant herd included two adult females, a few teenagers, and a baby that was a few days old. The hyenas were trying to get at the baby, which had already been injured. It was amazing to see some of the hyenas coming from all sides to irritate the larger elephants and other hyenas to try and grab the baby whenever the attention of the larger elephants was diverted, said the photographer. The most beautiful painted horses in the world. American paint horse, thoroughbred stallions, and mares. Most popular breeds to own. While some people consider the paint a color breed, the American Paint Horse Association considers them a true breed as paints have a strict bloodline requirement and distinctive breed characteristics. The American Paint Horse is a breed of horse that combines both the conformational characteristics of a western stock horse with a pinto spotting pattern of white and dark coat colors. 
developed from a base of spotted horses with quarter horse and thoroughbred bloodlines, the American Paint Horse Association APHA, breed registry is now one of the largest in North America. The registry allows some non-spotted animals to be registered as solid paint bred and considers the American paint horse to be a horse breed with distinct characteristics, not merely a color breed. The paint horse has specific characteristics beyond coat color, of course. The breed has been crossbred frequently with American quarter horses, so many are heavily muscled horse types. They are typically very muscular with broad chests, strong hindquarters and low centers of gravity that give them great balance. They are usually between 14.2 and 15.2 hands, but those with thoroughbred heritage can be taller. The average weight ranges from 950 to 1200 pounds, a bit heavier than most breeds. In the 1500s, Spanish explorers brought the predecessors of the paint horse breed to North America. These horses likely had barb, Andalusian and Arabian bloodlines and sported distinctive spotted and two-tone coloring. In fact, many experts believe explorer Hernando Cortez brought a particular sorrel and white stallion to North America from which the modern paint breed might be descended. Many of these horses ended up roaming wild across the continent, catching the eyes of Native Americans. They adopted and bred the horses, admiring them for their coat patterns, strength and friendly personalities. British colonists eventually introduced thoroughbreds to the gene pool, resulting in a sturdy working horse that was highly intelligent and steady on the trail. Some of these horses kept their spots while others were solid in color. When the American Quarter Horse Association emerged in 1940 to preserve horses of the stock type, it excluded those with pinto coat patterns and crop-out horses, those born with white body spots or white above the knees and hocks. Undeterred, fans of colorful stock horses formed a variety of organizations to preserve and promote paint horses. In 1965, some of these groups merged to form the American Paint Horse Association. Breeding stock paints can sometimes showcase small color traits, particularly if they carry Sabino genetics. Such traits include blue eyes, pink skin on lips and nostrils, roan spots, and minimal roaning. The American paint horse breeding depends on understanding horse reproduction. Mare and stallion management is a significant factor in the breeding process. When your mare is pregnant, then you have to need the confirmation of pregnancy diagnosis test. Successful, healthy foaling is the final step of the breeding process. Due to the heavy influx of American quarter horse breeding, some paints may also carry genetic disorders such as hyperkalemic periodic paralysis HYPP, hereditary equine regional dermal asthenia HERDA, equine polysaccharide storage myopathy called PSSM, polysaccharide storage myopathy in paints, quarters and appaloosas, malignant hyperthemia MH, and glycogen branching enzyme deficiency GBED. The influence of thoroughbred breeding puts some bloodlines at higher risk for wobblers syndrome. The breed is versatile and ideal for anyone who likes and enjoys horses, so the paint horse is right for you. They are lovable and easy to handle for rides. The owners and the riders are quickly making them train and keeps as pets. This is how lions mate. Male courtship behavior usually entails a lot of head rubbing with the female, urine spraying, licking his genitals and patiently following her. When the lioness is ready and presents, the male will try to grip her neck before mounting. Once he mounts, copulation is generally completed within a few thrusts. Lions usually take two to three years to get fully mature. They reach sexual maturity and they are capable of reproducing. At the age of four, male lions are capable of fighting with other lions and taking over their territory and females. Lions start getting older and weaker when they reach ten and usually lions in the wild only live 15 to 16 years. Males reach their prime in 5 to 6 years. At this age, males are the strongest, aggressive and look for prides to take over as they are driven out of their pride when they are about 2 years of age. This way, the prides have less adult males, even if they are their own offspring. A lion remains in his prime up until 8 or 9 years. By then, they are likely to be taken over by younger and stronger males. If they are unable to resist a takeover, 
they often turn nomads without a pride and need to fend for themselves in groups or alone. As long as the males remain masters of a pride, the females hunt for the males. Pride males act as protectors from rival males and only take part in hunting when needed. Otherwise, the lionesses hunt for both the pride males and the younger cubs in the pride. The more males in the pride, the more chances they have to drive away nomads who challenge them. If they fail, the nomads take over the pride the same way their predecessors did. The cycle keeps repeating. When lions reproduce, males in the pride simply copulate with any female lions in heat. Males often guard their mating partners until her eustress cycle is finished and fight with other males that try to approach her. However, unguarded females often mate with other males while they're in heat. Female lions can go into heat throughout the year. Their estrus cycle lasts for four days. When they go into heat, they become restless and often roll on their backs. Males can also sense females in heat by smelling their urine. Both males and females initiate mating. When lions mate, the male lion mounts the female and bites her neck to make her passive. After successfully mating, cubs gestate for an average of 110 days. A female can give birth to up to four cubs at one time. Lionesses will take care of their cubs until they reach the age of two or three. Then the mother goes through estrus, her heat cycle, and carries another litter. The pride forces out the male lion cubs and some of the female lion cubs as well. They must now fend for themselves or find another pride. It's thought that the lions kill the cubs so the females will mate sooner and their genes will be carried forth. The lionesses, however, do everything they can to protect their young. They'll fight to the death sometimes and gang up on the intruding males. Although they cannot defeat the larger cats on their own, the group does sometimes succeed when working together. Contrary to popular opinion, lionesses are not the only hunters in the pride, so male cubs must also learn to hunt. Hunting training begins around three months of age. Although cubs still nurse this young, the lionesses take them to eat after the kill. This is how lions mate. Male courtship behavior usually entails a lot of head rubbing with the female, urine spraying, licking his genitals, and patiently following her. When the lioness is ready and presents, the male will try to grip her neck before mounting. Once he mounts, copulation is generally completed within a few thrusts. Lions usually take two to three years to get fully mature. They reach sexual maturity and they're capable of reproducing. At the age of four, male lions are capable of fighting with other lions and taking over their territory and females. Lions start getting older and weaker when they reach 10, and usually lions in the wild only live 15 to 16 years. Males reach their prime in five to six years. At this age, males are the strongest, aggressive, and look for prides to take over as they're driven out of their pride when they're about two years of age. This way, the prides have less adult males, even if they are their own offspring. A lion remains in his prime up until eight or nine years. By then, they're likely to be taken over by younger and stronger males. If they're unable to resist a takeover, they often turn nomads without a pride and need to fend for themselves in groups or alone. As long as the males remain masters of a pride, the females hunt for the males. Pride males act as protectors from rival males and only take part in hunting when needed. Otherwise, the lionesses hunt for both the pride males and the younger cubs in the pride. The more males in the pride, the more chances they have to drive away nomads who challenge them. If they fail, the nomads take over the pride the same way their predecessors did. The cycle keeps repeating. When lions reproduce, males in the pride simply copulate with any female lions in heat. Males often guard their mating partners until her eustress cycle is finished and fight with other males that try to approach her. However, unguarded females often mate with other males while they're in heat. Female lions can go into heat throughout the year. Their estrus cycle lasts for four days. When they go into heat, they become restless and often roll on their backs. Males can also sense females in heat by smelling their urine. Both males and females initiate mating. When lions mate, the male lion mounts the female and bites her neck to make her passive. After successfully mating, cubs gestate for an average of 110 days. A female can give birth to up to four cubs at one time. Lionesses will take care of their cubs until they reach the age of two or three. Then the mother goes through estrus, her heat cycle, and carries another litter.
The pride forces out the male lion cubs and some of the female lion cubs as well. They must now fend for themselves or find another pride. It's thought that the lions kill the cubs so the females will mate sooner and their genes will be carried forth. The lionesses, however, do everything they can to protect their young. They'll fight to the death sometimes and gang up on the intruding males. Although they cannot defeat the larger cats on their own, the group does sometimes succeed when working together. Contrary to popular opinion, lionesses are not the only hunters in the pride, so male cubs must also learn to hunt. Hunting training begins around three months of age. Although cubs still nurse this young, the lionesses take them to eat after the kill. He shouldn't have started filming this giant anaconda. Few people like snakes, and the larger the snake, the more frightening it looks. In these creatures, there's something mysterious and mystical. Many people believe that snakes have the gift of hypnosis. There are many legends about them, but many stories are just fiction. But today, I'll show you the most unusual moments with the snake that we managed to film, and you yourself see how fantastic these creatures are. Brazilian fishermen in the river found the body of a huge snake. Just look at this monster. It looks like the snake managed to swallow someone huge but couldn't digest it. It was her last meal. Two anacondas intertwined in a love bond right in the middle of the road. These are rare shots filmed in Brazil. While fishing in Puerto Rico, fishermen found a huge yellow anaconda in the water. Despite the name, the snake is not yellow. The color is combined with green and gray shades. The species is not the largest among anacondas. Nevertheless, sometimes the length of individuals reaches 5 meters. And a fisherman from Randoni discovered a giant anaconda about 6 meters long. It's this snake that you now see in these frames. Average length of anacondas is usually equal to 4 meters, while their weight can reach 90 kilograms. Only look at this mouth. Anacondas are carnivores and they're able to swallow anyone who gets in their way. These shots were filmed in Rora Anopolis. A very long snake crawled across the roadway in the middle of the night. In Brazil, so many snakes that some local residents even keep as reptiles as pets, especially here they like boas. Next to people, these snakes can live twice as long in the wild. And this snake was filmed when she crawled across a dirt road. Her stomach was full, so the snake moved very slowly. A giant anaconda managed to capture on video in Sao Paulo. The guy who discovered it was scared, but still managed to shoot a short video before the snake disappeared. Because of the heavy rains, the water in the river Amazon rose strongly. By flooding neighboring villages with water to residential buildings, for example, this six-meter anaconda brought the largest snakes in the Amazon in this area. It was often possible to film real monsters on camera. Horrified, Moments Komodo Dragon Swallows Animals the wild environment is an extremely harsh habitat, and there are not many options for wild animals, especially for carnivores. The house is not easy. Every meal has to compensate for many risks. One of the most famous predators for its killer instinct and ability to devour large prey, and that's the Komodo dragon. As a species that can eat raw meat and carry on, Komodo dragons are not picky eaters. Hunger, it's imperative to hunt. Even turtles can become food immediately grabbed the turtle shell and managed to find a way to get it into his mouth. It can be seen that the size of the Komodo dragon's mouth is much smaller than that of a dragon shell turtle. However, the good thing is that they have a terrifying bite force. After several attempts, the cold-blooded predator successfully crushed the shell of the turtle and swallowed its prey without too much difficulty. The shell of the turtle is very hard, but doesn't the hungry Komodo dragon makes it as long as you can satisfy your hunger, Komodo dragons will put them in their stomachs. An interesting feature of Komodo dragons is that they can eat everything from fur, skin, meat, bones to claws. The reasons why, the stomach of this animal contains digestive juices, like snakes, to consume even hard things like bones. Hunger is what makes this cold-blooded predator a more brutal and agile one. Anyone can see in this situation that the Komodo dragon easily took down its prey to the ground despite fighting and fighting. It seems that their resistance was completely useless.
see what the world's most dangerous turtle can do. For many of us, turtles appear to be harmless, slow-moving creatures with a shell behind their backs. But this doesn't apply to all turtles. Among them are incredibly gigantic creatures weighing more than half a ton, super fast reptiles that you can't look away from, and even monsters whose bite is stronger than that of a bear. It's worth taking a look. In this exciting issue, we'll take a look at what the most dangerous turtles in the world are capable of. In this issue, all the best, incredible, amazing, unusual, interesting, and informative facts in the world about the most dangerous turtles on the planet that you didn't know about. From the amazing turtle whose disguise even a chameleon would envy, to the turtle with a half body size head, the largest turtle in the world, and an unusual creature with very sharp teeth. Wild nature's with you. And in this interesting, informative, and exciting issue, you'll learn and see what the most dangerous turtles in the world are capable of. Scary Incidents at the Beach One sunny day, while people were enjoying their time on the seashore, this frightening scene appeared in front of them, in which a Komodo lizard appeared carrying a turtle over its head. Everyone kept watching what the Komodo dragon would do to the tortoise. Everyone thought that the turtle had become a prey for the Komodo because it was weak, but in fact it hid inside its shell and remained sheltered there, and after repeated attempts, the Komodo failed to penetrate that hard shell in order to reach the turtle and left it. Fringe Turtle This turtle is distinguished from other types of turtles in shape or its ability to hide and camouflage and the atmosphere of life in which it lives. This type is called the Mata Mata turtle. It's considered the strange creatures that appeared in the animal world. This particular type of turtle lives in fresh water, specifically the Amazon River Basin. It disappears in shallow water thanks to its leafy shape and ability to hold its breath for hours underwater. The neck of the Mata Mata turtle consists of hard tissue to help in the camouflage process that it carries out to protect itself from predators in the water. Although it has a very long neck that ends with a broad, flat head that resembles a triangle with an inverted line and a pointed nose. Mata Mata turtles cannot chew, so they prey on small animals, and although they're very slow, they use camouflage to attract their prey to attack them. They swallow live fish through the suction feeding process, where they turn their mouths into something like a vacuum cleaner, which is done when the small fish swims next to it. The Mata Mata turtle opens its mouth and begins to suck the fish with a large gulp of water, then closes its mouth again and expels the water and swallows the fish. The skin flaps are a kind of protection and protective shield for the Mata Mata turtles as they make them look like dead leaves on the surface of the water to camouflage from predators. No one knows why turtles have these nerves or what their function is. But as far as scientists have come, they're used to detect sounds and vibrations in the water. Monster Turtle This turtle is strong, huge, and scary in shape, making you panic just by looking at it. She doesn't fear predators like other turtles, she doesn't run away from them, but rather lives with them and confronts them, and she's able to threaten crocodiles. The fringed turtle or monster turtle is considered one of the largest and heaviest freshwater turtles as it measures up to one and a half meters and weighs more than 60 kilograms. Well, some specialists say that it can weigh as much as 200 kilograms. The monster turtle has very strong jaws. This turtle is very dangerous and it rushes toward any creature and finds it its way, even if it's a crocodile, as its mouth can amputate any part of the body and it's a carnivorous species especially water birds, fish, and other reptiles. Brutal Komodo Dragon Devours Horses and Other Live Animals Today, I'm going to bring you some of the most insane pictures of one of the most incredible and brutal predators on the planet, the Komodo Dragon. So get ready and come with me to watch these powerful animals in action. Komodo Dragons, or Komodo Monitors, are the largest, heaviest lizards in the world and one of the few with a venomous bite. These stealthy, powerful hunters rely on their sense of smell to detect food, using their long, forked tongues to sample the air. The Komodo dragons have powerful teeth, and they use them to tear the deer's belly and thus eat its entrails. Tell me if it's brutal or not. 
Here, a wild boar was the victim of this relentless hunter, with animal immobilized by the action of its venom. The Komodo dragon opens its belly and devours it the same way it did you. Animals look here. They're devouring this poor horse, Pakoto. Something that also draws a lot of attention is the ability that these lizards have big hole prey. That's how it devours this goat. Finally, see this dragon devouring a whole duck. No chances for the painful. Komodo dragons eat almost any kind of meat, scavenging for carcasses or stalking animals that range in size from small rodents to large water buffalo. Young feed primarily on small lizards and insects, as well as snakes and birds. If they live to be five years old, they move on to larger prey such as rodents, monkeys, goats, and wild boars and deer. Although the Komodo dragon can briefly reach speeds of 10 to 13 miles per hour, its hunting strategy is based on stealth and power. It can spend hours in one spot along a game trail, waiting for a deer or other sizable and nutritious prey to cross its path before launching an attack. Most of the monitor's attempts at bringing down prey are unsuccessful. However, if it's able to bite its prey, bacteria and venom in its saliva will kill the prey within a few days. After the animal dies, which can take up to four days, the Komodo uses its powerful sense of smell to locate the body. Now tell me, is there any wild animal more brutal than the Komodo dragon? Leave your comment below. These dogs hunt deer and even bulls. Red wolves are bold and fearless. In India, these animals are called dole, which in ancient times meant bold and fearless. These qualities perfectly describe their behavior. Enlisting support, they challenge incredibly strong opponents and corner the most dangerous competitors. Red wolves or red Indian dogs are representatives of the canine family that are found in the forest regions of Central and South Asia. With a body length of up to 1 meter, they usually weigh up to 20 kilograms, but the size is more than offset by resourcefulness and an abundance of tactics. Like many other canids, the success of hunting wild dogs largely depends on teamwork because they often choose prey much larger than themselves. Deer make an excellent choice, but their speed is too great, so predators scatter and try to intercept the frightened prey. Although even by joint efforts, it's not so easy to reach the goal, and the deer, driven into a trap, find salvation in the nearest reservoir. A long-legged animal can stand up to its neck in water for hours, and hunters don't know what to do with it. They're not famous for their endless patience, so they soon lose interest in the target. But suddenly, a resourceful predator noticed another deer. Now the only chance for success is to prevent him from swimming too far. While the flock is celebrating the victory, the hidden fugitive takes the opportunity and hurriedly leaves the danger zone. Seasoned hunters purposely drive the victim into the water where it loses mobility and the ability to defend itself. With knowledge of the matter, the wolf directs the target into shallow water, which greatly simplifies the ability to attack. The most impatient ones can set off in pursuit without support, but they cannot even cope with a wounded animal alone. So the predator is forced to ask for help with a special whistle, to which all three members of the pack come running. Predators try to swallow food as quickly as possible, because competitors do not sleep. Local vultures are not inferior in size to wolves, and their number is rapidly increasing, so very soon feathered scavengers will displace successful hunters. At the same time, you cannot stand on ceremony with other dangerous neighbors. For example, a leopard, without any hesitation, is driven into a tree, although he'll never risk getting in the way of a pack. Feeling superior, wolves do not miss the opportunity to tease the big cats. Canine claws are blunt, which provides additional traction when chasing, but makes it impossible to climb trees, which become a salvation for many local inhabitants. For a long time, wild dogs have been mercilessly exterminated by people, although attacks on livestock are rare. Today, wolves are protected in India, but the disappearance of food supply, habitat destruction, and disease have put these unique predators in danger of extinction because the total number of adults does not exceed 2,500. When she was found, all the villagers were shocked. The villagers found this poor stray dog stuck in a fence. They called the local lifeguard, but no one answered, and they decided to help on their own. 
They parted the bars with their hands, though it wasn't easy, and pulled her away, then washed all the dirt from her body. poor dog was probably trapped for several hours as he was very exhausted and dehydrated. They covered her with an umbrella and waited for a car to arrive to take her to the clinic. She refused to eat because she was very frightened. When the car arrived and took the poor man to the clinic, the vet immediately put her on a drip and gave her antibiotics. Her stomach was badly bruised by the rods that crushed her because of which she couldn't walk. She needed time and loving care for her recovery. Two weeks later, the baby felt much better. She was able to run again and she had a great appetite. Now she's in a temporary shelter where she receives everything she needs and finds a loving home for the baby. Many thanks to the villagers for giving her a second chance at life. And what do you think about this story? Write in the comments, put likes and be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell so as to not miss new rescue stories and reviews. See what the world's most dangerous turtle can do. For many of us, turtles appear to be harmless, slow-moving creatures with a shell behind their backs. But this doesn't apply to all turtles. Among them are incredibly gigantic creatures weighing more than half a ton, super fast reptiles that you can't look away from, and even monsters whose bite is stronger than that of a bear. It's worth taking a look. In this exciting issue, we'll take a look at what the most dangerous turtles in the world are capable of. In this issue, all the best, incredible, amazing, unusual, interesting, and informative facts in the world about the most dangerous turtles on the planet that you didn't know about. From the amazing turtle whose disguise even a chameleon would envy, to the turtle with a half-body size head, the largest turtle in the world, and an unusual creature with very sharp teeth wild nature's with you, and in this interesting, informative, and exciting issue, you'll learn and see what the most dangerous turtles in the world are capable of. Scary Incidents at the Beach One sunny day, while people were enjoying their time on the seashore, this frightening scene appeared in front of them, in which a Komodo lizard appeared carrying a turtle over its head. Everyone kept watching what the Komodo dragon would do to the tortoise. Everyone thought that the turtle had become a prey for the Komodo because it was weak, but in fact it hid inside its shell and remained sheltered there, and after repeated attempts, the Komodo failed to penetrate that hard shell in order to reach the turtle and left it. Fringe Turtle This turtle is distinguished from other types of turtles in shape or its ability to hide and camouflage and the atmosphere of life in which it lives. This type is called the Mata Mata turtle. It's considered the strange creatures that appeared in the animal world. This particular type of turtle lives in fresh water, specifically the Amazon River Basin. It disappears in shallow water thanks to its leafy shape and ability to hold its breath for hours underwater. The neck of the Mata Mata turtle consists of hard tissue to help in the camouflage process that it carries out to protect itself from predators in the water. Although it has a very long neck that ends with a broad, flat head that resembles a triangle with an inverted line and a pointed nose. Mata Mata turtles cannot chew, so they prey on small animals, and although they're very slow, they use camouflage to attract their prey to attack them. They swallow live fish through the suction feeding process, where they turn their mouths into something like a vacuum cleaner, which is done when the small fish swims next to it. The Mata Mata turtle opens its mouth and begins to suck the fish with a large gulp of water, then closes its mouth again and expels the water and swallows the fish. The skin flaps are a kind of protection and protective shield for the Mata Mata turtles as they make them look like dead leaves on the surface of the water to camouflage from predators. 
No one knows why turtles have these nerves or what their function is, but as far as scientists have come, they're used to detect sounds and vibrations in the water. Monster Turtle This turtle is strong, huge, and scary in shape, making you panic just by looking at it. She doesn't fear predators like other turtles, she doesn't run away from them, but rather lives with them and confronts them, and she's able to threaten crocodiles. The fringed turtle, or monster turtle, is considered one of the largest and heaviest freshwater turtles, as it measures up to one and a half meters and weighs more than 60 kilograms. Well, some specialists say that it can weigh as much as 200 kilograms. The monster turtle has very strong jaws. This turtle is very dangerous, and it rushes toward any creature and finds it its way, even if it's a crocodile, as its mouth can amputate any part of the body, and it's a carnivorous species especially water birds, fish, and other reptiles. Brutal Komodo dragon devours horses and other live animals. Today, I'm going to bring you some of the most insane pictures of one of the most incredible and brutal predators on the planet, the Komodo dragon. So get ready and come with me to watch these powerful animals in action. Komodo dragons, or Komodo monitors, are the largest, heaviest lizards in the world and one of the few with a venomous bite. These stealthy, powerful hunters rely on their sense of smell to detect food, using their long, forked tongues to sample the air. The Komodo dragons have powerful teeth, and they use them to tear the deer's belly and thus eat its entrails. Tell me if it's brutal or not. Here, a wild boar was the victim of this relentless hunter, with animal immobilized by the action of its venom. The Komodo dragon opens its belly and devours it the same way it did you. Animals look here. They're devouring this poor horse, Pakoto. Something that also draws a lot of attention is the ability that these lizards have big hole prey. That's how it devours this goat. Finally, see this dragon devouring a whole duck. No chances for the painful. Komodo dragons eat almost any kind of meat, scavenging for carcasses or stalking animals that range in size from small rodents to large water buffalo. Young feed primarily on small lizards and insects, as well as snakes and birds. If they live to be five years old, they move on to larger prey such as rodents, monkeys, goats, and wild boars and deer. Although the Komodo dragon can briefly reach speeds of 10 to 13 miles per hour, its hunting strategy is based on stealth and power. It can spend hours in one spot along a game trail, waiting for a deer or other sizable and nutritious prey to cross its path before launching an attack. Most of the monitor's attempts at bringing down prey are unsuccessful. However, if it's able to bite its prey, bacteria and venom in its saliva will kill the prey within a few days. After the animal dies, which can take up to four days, the Komodo uses its powerful sense of smell to locate the body. Now, tell me, is there any wild animal more brutal than the Komodo dragon? Leave your comment below. The world's most dangerous snakes fear him. Giant Monitor Snakes inspire fear in most of the creatures of our planet, but they themselves are not afraid of fear. They're afraid of giant monitor lizards, hate to cross paths with cunning and agile mongooses and meerkats, and are horrified at the sight of some birds. It's worth a look. In this issue, I'll show you animals that even the most dangerous snakes in the world are afraid of. Monitor Lizards Monitor lizards are different. Some are not very large and resemble just large boxes that you all saw at least once in your life, and some are really huge. For example, the Komodo monitor lizard is generally the largest lizard on the planet that can grow up to 4 meters in length, and it weighs more than 100 kilograms. Snakes are very afraid of him, even the most dangerous and poisonous of them. It's funny, if only she did this, he would answer her and then gobble it up. Believe monitor lizards know how to do these snakes steadily enter their diet. Most monitor lizards fearlessly fight with snakes and then eat. Sometimes they didn't even defeat me alive in battle since I was nine years old. Maybe it's time I don't have a chance. Poison, they don't know much. Many monitor lizards have amazing immunity. Therefore, toxins do not harm them. On the other hand, monitor lizards themselves are poisonous. 
The same Komodo monitor lizard has poisonous glands that have an additional effect when hunting snakes. And not only, and sometimes monitor lizards don't even pay attention, because any skirmish with these lizards can be the last one. But still, sometimes they take risks and attack monitor lizards themselves. Basically, it ends for creeping. Meerkats Unlike the same monitor lizard, the meerkat doesn't look menacing. Yes, it's a predatory animal. Yes, it hunts, but still it's very cute in appearance. Meerkats, funny, stand on their hind legs, are distinguished by curiosity, and their size is simply ridiculous. They weigh less than a kilogram, but snakes don't find it funny when they see meerkats. If monitor lizards can simply ignore a snake, or it's time to deal with it on the spot, then the meerkats choose a different tactic. When they see a snake, then they call all their brothers to come to the place to look at the snake. Often they surround it. They can even do nothing but simply incinerate the creeping look because if the snake starts to get nervous, she tries to bite the meerkats, but they definitely avoid attacks. At some point, the snake begins to be afraid of such reckless and nimble creatures that don't run at the sight of her but rather come closer. Therefore, she simply crawls away. By the way, if the snake still hits some meerkat with its poisonous teeth, then he'll most likely not die. Meerkats have increased immunity to the poison of many snakes, so they quickly recover from bites. Honey Badger You still remember how I told you that meerkats quickly recover from snake venom? Here I got excited. Sometimes the animal needs a couple of days to recover and return to the system of the honey badger in this regard. It's just the king of regeneration. I even practically don't take very toxic snakes. Even this fact would be enough to understand why the snakes are afraid of him. But that's not all, because he himself often attacks a variety of snakes. The honey badger doesn't care who's in front of him. For example, he can fight with a poisonous cobra. The fight will not be the easiest, but if the reptile doesn't crawl away or doesn't have time to bite a small predator, it will definitely become its victim. Non-venomous snakes for a honey badger in general, a trifle without straining. A couple of minutes is enough for a honey badger to get himself a delicious dinner in the form of some kind of snake. Lion, Alligator, Hippo Strength alone cannot determine the danger one animal can cause, because temperament is a significant factor too. Not all animals quickly turn into rage, but some do. The lion is the most powerful predator in the whole African continent, although the crocodile is larger and rules the water. But on land, almost every animal ends up in the lion's menu. It's capable of killing a great number of species, and even amazing animals like elephants and rhinoceros. Nobody here is able to face a lion that can take down a buffalo in just seconds. But even the strongest of opponents has a weak point. And how the animal world likes it. Surprise! A small animal is capable of killing a lion with a single hit. It's the black mamba. Cape Buffalo This large African animal is also known as the black death. It's for a solid reason. In Africa, it's one of the animals that's responsible for the most number of fatal attacks. The animal is unpredictable and aggressive. When disturbed or attacked, a cape buffalo would attack anything, even a large predator like lions. A matured cape buffalo stands six feet in height and weighs close to a ton. The most noticeable feature and primary weapon of cape buffaloes are their large, thick horns. When a member of the herd or a calf being disturbed, they would charge with their massive horns. Attack from such a large animal like Cape Buffalo could result in severe injuries or even death. Hippopotamus Hippos are the most dangerous animal in Africa. They're territorial and extremely aggressive. They've known to attack boats in the river. If disturbed, hippos even attack lions or crocodiles. Their sheer size and large teeth can be a serious threat. When being aggressive, they even try to chase humans. Despite the massive size of the body, hippos can run at a speed of 20 miles per hour. So, think twice before you go near hippos. Saltwater Crocodile Measuring 20 feet in length and weighing close to a ton, saltwater crocodile is the largest reptile in the world. These giants also have the record of most powerful bite ever tested. Saltwater crocodiles also have a fearsome reputation for being the most aggressive crocodile species in the world. They become more aggressive during the mating season. Massive tail and powerful jaws are the primary weapon of saltwater crocodiles. 
they'll fearlessly attack animals like lions or water buffaloes. The sheer size along with their extreme aggression makes saltwater crocodiles one of the most dangerous animals in the world. Attack on humans usually occur when people are washing close to riverbanks and lake shores and when fishermen are getting in and out of their boats. Around 40% of crocodile attacks on humans are fatal, with children more at risk than adults due to their size. Black Mamba Black Mamba is famous for several reasons. It's the second largest venomous snake in the world. Reaching 12 miles per hour, it's the fastest land snake in the world. The venom of this fearsome snake is also so potent to kill an adult human in a short time. When threatened, black mambas also become aggressive. Black mambas don't attack without provocation, but when it feels anything is a threat, animals or humans, they become aggressive and would bite. Not for a single time, but repeatedly. In each time a black mamba bite, they inject a large quantity of venom, so the recovery from black mamba bite can be complicated. Hyenas While they're reputed to be scavengers, hyenas are also skilled hunters. Attacks on humans are not unknown. Hyenas hunt in teams, often circling and wearing down much larger animals such as wildebeests and zebras. If a hyena clan is large enough, it will challenge a pride of lions in a battle over food. Lion Responsible for an estimated 200 deaths per year as the apex predator of the African wild, the lion is one of the world's top predators. Whilst humans are not their natural prey, each year an estimated 200 people are killed by lions. Sick male lions are mostly responsible for this death rate, along with opportunistic attacks in areas where the lion's natural prey has been depleted. Whilst there have been a handful of reported deaths of tourists or guides being killed by lions during a safari trip, these cases are very much the exception. The vast majority of humans killed by lions are of locals going about their daily lives or on the fringes of African game reserves. Most dangerous animal in Africa, based on the estimated number of humans killed each year. Any dangerous animals that surprise you or that you've encountered in the wild? Or any dangerous African animals we've left off the list? Let us know in the comment section below. These animal incidents you'll remember for a lifetime. The world of wildlife never ceases to amaze us. So far, scientists have been able to find new species of animals. Sometimes their findings simply amaze the imagination of even biologists. We'd like to bring your attention to incredible cases with animals caught on camera. Did you know that a cow can eat a snake? This video clearly shows how this cow eats a small snake and digests it as if it were eating grass. This is another example of strange behavior that comes from cows, as this black cow appears to be eating a poisonous snake. As for this cow, she also preferred to eat a special meal by eating this colorful snake. Do you think she ate it because she thought it was grass? Or did the cow deliberately do that? This time the opposite happened, as the anaconda appears to be trying to swallow a cow after it turned around and squeezed it into a pool of water. The giant snake couldn't swallow the cow because the cow was too big and left it dead floating in the water. This clip spread on the internet which shows a cat born with three eyes. You can notice a small eye above the cat's right eye which makes it a unique cat. Everyone's expressed their admiration and amazement at this cat. These cats are known as Janus. They're very rare, usually don't live long, and die at an early age. But this kitten survived. This hidden camera attached to a tree in the forest captured a very exceptional video as this deer appeared walking on a path in the middle of the forest and suddenly it fell on its back and kept moving its four legs. The animal appears to have been exposed to epilepsy which is a group of neurological disorders characterized by seizures caused by unusual increases in electrical activity in the brain. It can start and stop suddenly and extend for any period of time from a few seconds to a few minutes. When domestic animals suffer from epilepsy, a person intervenes and provides them with sedative medication, but when it comes to wild animals, the matter becomes very complicated because the animal suffers and, in most cases, dies. A video clip spread on YouTube showing two flamingos feeding their young with a red liquid. The female flamingo injured the head of the male, who placed his beak inside the mouth of the young, with a liquid substance that also looked like blood. 
In fact, flamingos produce red milk in the digestive tract as a result of prolactin, the hormone responsible for stimulating milk production in mammals. Flamingos are among the few birds that can feed their young directly from a secretion produced in their digestive tracts. It's worth noting that both males and females of flamingos, or what is known as pink flamingos, produce milk and take care of their young. This photo was taken from inside the chicken coop on the farm. It shows two crocodiles sneaking into the chicken coop, and there they found a large number of chicks. The crocodile appeared carrying a chick in his mouth, while the other appeared headed towards the chicks so that the other one could get his meal. The Lion King risked his life in the final battle. What cruelty happened? The lion is still known as the king of the jungle, but behind these flashy names are extremely brutal battles. The wild world always contains extreme harshness. Lions are no exception. So wherever you are, the colorful animal world will decode the wild world through this video. The lion risked his life in the final battle, and what happens next? Possessing the natural hunting skill, along with attacked muscles made deep and short head and ears. The appearance of the males is an obsession for other animals. However, without being able to survive until adulthood, it's not easy at all. Lions live by pride, they live and hunt together, but the special thing is that when these lions grow up, are kicked out of their pride by their own father, the young and aesthetic lions are mad and must embark on their own journey, which few of them can survive. From then on, these male lions become solitary individuals, and until they find a new colony, they stay alone. Trying to join the new pride is not easy. The lions are highly territorial, and often the dominant male lions will attack and kill any nomads. The lionesses are very territorial too, and will never use boundaries of other lions, like lions. When we meet a lion that invaded their territory, they fiercely attack to defend their land and cubs. In the life of male lions, the bloody battle for survival, which makes the number of the survival till adulthood, is only one-third of female lionesses, after the sex ratio of the animal at birth. This item makes no difference, only brave and intelligent male lions are able to survive before they become the dominant lion king of a banquet. It's almost impossible for male lions to create a new pride on their own, they're forced to take the pride of other lions. If the male is not strong enough to defend his territory against invaders, he can be killed or even killed out of the herd. To finish the herd, he'll kill at the cubs that are not his congeners. In these photos, a lion appears in a miserable state after being butted by raging bulls after they attacked him while he was about to devour a young buffalo. The lion was severely wounded in the face, causing blood to cover his face. The monster would be lucky if he could survive. The rarest animal crossings in the world. Jaglion. This photo was taken by Mary just after she discovered the jaglions. In the photo are Lola, the mom, Tsunami with her, and the dark spot in the foreground is Jazara. It was very cold and Lola had abandoned Jazara, who was barely breathing. Happy ending, though. The kids are beautiful and healthy and turned seven years old. A hybrid is most often sterile and cannot produce offspring of its own. The birth of jaglions at Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary was a surprise, to say the very least. Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary does not breed animals and does everything possible to ensure the animals do not reproduce on their own. This doesn't always work. In the case of the jaglion's parents, Lola and Diablo, Every precaution was taken. A great many people didn't think it was even possible for Lola to conceive, but nonetheless, she was separated from Diablo each time she came into Estrus. Lola and Diablo were permanently separated in 2012. They still share a fence and communicate daily. Lola is happy and healthy. Tsunami and Jazara might be the only jag lions in the world. They're beautiful, perfect, healthy, and active. It seems nature knows its stuff. Leopon. Leopon is the hybrid offspring of a male leopard and a female lion. The head of the animal is similar to that of a lion, while the rest of the body carries similarities to leopards. These hybrids are produced in captivity and are unlikely to occur in the wild. The first documented Leopon was bred at Kolhapur, India in 1910. Its skin was sent to Reginald Innes Pocock by Walter Samuel Mollard the secretary of the Bombay Natural History Society. 
it was a cross between a large leopard and a lioness. Two cubs were born, one of which died aged two and a half months, and the other was still living when Pocock described it in 1912. Based on the data from the Japanese cats, at the Nishinomoya City Zoo, leopons are larger than leopards and combined features from the leopard and lioness. They have brown rather than black spots and tufted tails. They climb like leopards and seem to enjoy water, also like the leopard. Male leopons may have sparse manes about 20 centimeters long. Liger The liger is a hybrid offspring of a male lion and a female tiger. The liger has parents in the same genus but of different species. The liger is distinct from the similar hybrid called the tigon and is the largest of all known extant felines. They enjoy swimming, which is a characteristic of tigers, and are very sociable like lions. Notably, ligers typically grow larger than either parent species, unlike tigons. The history of lion-tiger hybrids dates to at least the early 19th century in India. In 1798, Etienne Geoffrey St. Hilaire (1772–1844) made a color plate of the offspring of a lion and a tiger. The liger is often believed to be the largest known cat in the world. Males reach a total length of 3 to 3.6 meters, which is 9.8 to 11.8 feet, which means that they rival even large male lions and tigers in length. Imprinted genes may be a factor contributing to the large size of ligers. In 1825, G. B. Whitaker made an engraving of liger cubs born in 1824. The parents and their three liger offspring are also depicted with their trainer in a 19th century painting in the naive style. Two liger cubs born in 1837 were exhibited to King William IV and his successor, Queen Victoria. On the 14th of December, 1900, and on the 31st of May, 1901, Carl Hagenbeck wrote to zoologist James Cosser Ewart with details and photographs of ligers born at the Hagenbeck's Tier Park in Hamburg in 1897. The eastern United States, long deprived of its native wolves, has a new large predator, a hybrid of wolves, coyotes, and domestic dogs. The Economist reports, These chi wolves, which can be twice the size of coyotes, are thought to be in the number in the millions, zoologist Roland Kays told The Economist. In some ways, they're a mix of wolf and coyote. For example, their howl starts deep and ends in coyote-like yips but their flexible diet and nocturnal habits are unlike those of either wild ancestor. Such behaviors may help explain why chi wolves are thriving in urban areas, even in cities like New York and Boston. Sheep-goat hybrid A sheep-goat hybrid is the offspring of a sheep and a goat. While sheep and goats are similar and can be mated, they belong to different genera in the subfamily Caprini and the family Bovidae. Sheep belong to the genus Ovis and have 54 chromosomes, while goats belong to the genus Capra and have 60 chromosomes. The offspring of a sheep-goat pairing is generally stillborn. Despite widespread shared pasturing of goats and sheep, hybrids are very rare, indicating the genetic distance between the two species. They are not to be confused with sheep-goat chimera, which are artificially created by combining the embryos of a goat and a sheep. In France, natural mating of a doe with a ram produced a female hybrid carrying 57 chromosomes. This animal back-crossed in the veterinary college of Nantes to a ram delivered a stillborn and a living male offspring with 54 chromosomes. In March 2014, a buck ewe hybrid was born on a farm in Göttingen in Germany. Also in March 2014, a male buck ewe hybrid was born in Ireland. Pisley. A grizzly polar bear hybrid, also named Groller bear or Pisley bear, zebra bear, grizzler, and nanolock, is a rare ursid hybrid that has occurred both in captivity and in the wild. In 2006, the occurrence of this hybrid in nature was confirmed by testing the DNA of a unique-looking bear that had been shot near Saks Harbor, Northwest Territories, on Banks Island in the Canadian Arctic. The number of confirmed hybrids has since risen to eight, all of them descending from the same female polar bear. Possible wild-bred polar grizzly bear hybrids have been reported and shot in the past, 
but DNA tests were not available to verify the bear's ancestry. This is how the elephant mates. Life's unfair. Life in the world of elephants is very unfair. Male elephants are much better off in so many ways than females. A solitary bull elephant feeding quietly on his own. The scene is calm and peaceful. Male elephants are large enough and powerful enough to defend themselves against any predator, except for man in very recent times. Therefore, they are not obliged to stay with a herd for safety in numbers. Being able to move around on their own is a great advantage. Solitude means that a much, much smaller amount of food needs to be found every day. Elephants reproduce sexually, with the male mounting the female after assessing her reproductive status via chemical information in her urine. He picks her urine up with his trunk and blows it into the roof of his mouth to determine if she's receptive to the breeding process. Females may mate with more than one bull in each estrus cycle, which lasts up to 18 weeks. While elephants do not mate for life, a female may repeatedly choose to mate with the same bull, and bulls are sometimes seen as being protective of females. Receptive females have a particular walk that's recognized by the bull. She holds her head high and looks over her shoulder, and she becomes vocal, making sounds that travel long distances to help bulls locate her. Bulls that are potential mates go through tests of strength to determine which bull gets to mate with a receptive female. Bulls will push, wrestle, ram, and tusk one another until the weakest is forced to back off and allow the stronger bull to mate the female. 